so it's a new video time and uh, now it's all about uh, car and driver so let's see who's the driver sheriff Almelo county <laughs> how cool is that who do we have here <laughs> hello police officer hello 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 so this is a special episode of a uh, car and driver sheriff sheriff from Almelo Almelo county yep so uh, Jody, can you tell us a little bit uh, about your car so this is my car i don't buy it this way i make it this way i have a, a light on my uh, on my roof is this awesome yeah it is this one is cool it's like a disco a little bit of music hey Do you like car detailing? Please subscribe Wheeler Detailers. Hit the bell icon and watch all our videos. Hello everyone, thanks again for tuning in on the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about buckets. And why are we gonna talk about buckets? Because we have quite a bunch in separate colors, separate accessories, and I'm gonna explain to you how you can use these buckets, how you can use these accessories. Uh, fast and efficient to give your car bike or truck a proper wash with a proper clean result so let's get started so we have the chemical guys translucent buckets in normal clear or ultra clear translucent red translucent blue and my favorite the translucent smoked buckets you can actually also use this as a as a sun visor i use it during uh, summertime always so it's perfect you probably have read on the Camel Guys EU website the two bucket car wash method. This is how it is. So I you choose one bucket to be mixed with shampoo and lukewarm water. So this is my washing bucket. And I have one bucket to be filled only with lukewarm water. We call this our rinsing bucket. Now in my washing bucket, I'm going to use the dirt trap water filter. So this is a lot of small funnels on the bottom which works as following so when i enter and i release my wash mitt from my washing bucket i might also release a couple of sanding uh, sand particles or dust or whatever with this water filter they sink down through the water through the funnels under the filter so that means that when i would go in and out with my wash mitt i would release potential dust oxidation sand and it will sink down all through the lukewarm water to the bottom of the bucket and with this water filter in between i will never when i enter the next time again and the next time again i will never touch those dirty particles again and with this i can wash and clean much safer and keep my washing water much cleaner longer so this is one rinsing bucket is meant to uh, rinse out extreme dirt so I've washed for example the left wing of Jordi's car and first I'm gonna rinse it out in my lukewarm water and by doing it like this with my hand I would release particles sand and dust but we can actually rinse out with better results than only by doing this by hand therefore we have the grid guard on the bottom so that means the same thing as with the dirt trap only much opener structure that also the most stubborn sand, dust particles, oxidation, whatever we uh, washed off of the car and is in the fibers of a wash mitt will sink down through the lukewarm water, through these holes uh, and stays on the bucket of the bucket. However, my hand is always in a position like this. Your hand will be as well. And if I really want to scrub thoroughly, I have to go to the bottom of the bucket. Like we did it in the old days to scrub over the yeah, grill filter design and with that clean out the fibers of a microfiber wash mitt. But Gridguard launched this washboard attachment to be fixed on your grid guard. And with that you can glide in a diagonal position, easy like this to clean the fibers of your microfiber wash mat. Now, this is my set. I'm also gonna use it and demo it to you how I use it uh, when I wash out this car. So this is my ideal setup for washing. So here we go. Normally, for example, I wash out this wing. First, I'm gonna go to my rinsing bucket. I'm gonna scrape it over the washboard. Make sure that I don't see any sand particles anymore. If I do, I'm gonna scrape it again, as long as it's clean. So this is my first filter moment. 
And then we're gonna go to my second filter moment. I'll take on new soapy suds from this washing bucket filled with an emulsion of shampoo and lukewarm water. If there per accidentally is some dust left or a sand particle left, it will sink down through the bucket, through the funnels of the dirt trap and stays on the bottom of the bucket. So in my way of working, I might do it wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. I always want to learn how it can be done better. Uh, in my way of working, this is for me the most safe and efficient way how I can wash any car. And super important is always make sure your wash mitts also are clean. Yeah. So then we've got a couple of accessories for your buckets, as well as the dirt trap and the grid guard in the washboard are an accessory as well. We've got these black and red chemical guys bucket lids. It's like a really thick and solid plastic material. This is the inside. And these ones fit exactly on top of the bucket. So, with a bucket lid like this, you can also use your bucket after washing to store or stock your brushes, a bottle of shampoo, your wash mitts, uh, folded drying towel for example. And you can just easy peasy with a bucket on top, store it away in your garage or in your barn or wherever you're gonna store your car care and detailing products. These are actually this solid that I would say with some normal sizes and weight, you can actually sit on it. It doesn't break down, it's perfect for that. So I weigh 85 kilos and it still works for me as well. So why would this be convenient? If I want a solution to work on the wheels, or on tires, or in the wheel wells as well, on the lower parts of the car. So I don't have to sit on my knees or I have to bend down from my back. So this gives me a much more comfortable working position. These are the bucket lids. <laughs> then we do have the seal covers, which is two parts, which are two parts. One is a ring and in the ring, there is a rubber seal. I hope you can see it all the way around. Mm -hmm. This goes very, very firmly. There we go. The ring of the... <sighs> the ring of the steel cover really has to fit well over the top edge of the bucket. Then inside of the top of the seal cover you see another rubber ring all the way around. And with this you can completely close it, also water close it. It's completely tight now. If you want to go to the coin car wash or a wash box or something else and you want to bring your own warm mixed shampoo water with you in the back of the trunk of your car and you might hit a corner, then water will never get out of the bucket and your trunk area or where you're gonna take this uh, bucket filled with water with you will, uh, yeah, will not get wet. So uh, this is a big advantage. I'm gonna fill it now with water and just show you that it's tight. So here we go. Filled with water, screw on the top part of the seal cover. So Chris, it's super dry now. Chris stole my bucket. Can I have my bucket back, please? We're, we're shooting a video here. Thank now you have, guys. And now I have to open it again. There he is. <laughs> now you can do it. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not the, he's not the only one who's technical and has two right hands. I actually built a display at Henry Bicker a couple of weeks ago. All by myself. Don't want uh, to uh, yeah. be. Yeah. Also, I uh, yeah. Actually, I uh, actually also screwed together the screwed like with screws, not screwing like. Uh, but I screwed together the Chemical Guys Ultimate Soft Tool as well. You can also okay. link to that here in the, this video. Yep. It's a really great uh, technical episode of how Martin assembles uh, a soft tool. I think we got over a thousand views in that video actually. These were the 
pocket lids and the gamma seal seal covers. Then we have here the bucket dollies. We have them in black and red as well. This is a very thick plastic kind of material filled with uh, swivels at the bottom and bared wheels. You can also lock the wheels, put them, let's say, on a brake or not. And with this, you can put in your bucket and take it away, take it with you around the car. Come on, boy. Sit, sit, sit. Ah, ah, ah. So, this is how it works. Yeah. So it's a little bit stubborn. So, and you can actually fix the bucket here with these plastic bolts, three pieces, to uh, have your bucket fitted in correctly. And it cannot go anywhere. So you can have these ones in black and in red as well. So tell us your favorite color of uh, bucket dolly, which you like to match with your buckets. Maybe this one with the smoked ones here and this one with the transluted red ones. So this is all the theory and the, about the buckets and the accessories and the water filters that come with them. So this is the explanation part. Enough said, let's go to work. Things you can do with your snobby. Oh, 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 oh that felt really good. <laughs> so uh, before we're gonna foam it up, I'm gonna pre-rinse it because there's so much dirt on this one. This is the Brand X All Surface Cleaner. Brand X are the large packaging sizes uh, from uh, Chemical Guys. This uh, equals with uh, the Chemical Guys All Clean. I think we've diluted it 1 to 10. You can find those Brand X cubes, it's only available in uh, a five gallon, so that's a 19 liter, yeah, what are it? Cans or canisters? Not quite sure on how you uh, say this in English. And then for, let's say, I don't know, check out the prices on Carcat24, we'll link the product here in this video for you, in the description. And I'm gonna spray this Cypress-based all-purpose cleaner. I'm gonna spray in this uh, citrus based all purpose cleaner to release uh, dust and to uh, have the car more or less pre cleaned, including the citrus based snow foam, before uh, I'm gonna actually start with the washing process. So then I'm gonna spray on my Decon V4. Spray this on you've seen in many other videos of us. Let it cure for around one minute. <coughs> and uh, spray off or rinse off with a high pressure washer. So we've shown you before, but we're gonna show it again. The bottle is a liter and we're gonna use 90 milliliters. That's here, a little bit where my nail is, under this stripe or dash. And the rest we're gonna fill up with lukewarm water. There we go. So let's wait a couple of seconds before the warm water starts to run. And I'm gonna stop in the middle a little bit so I can shake it. So we've got it properly mixed. It's starting to foam up already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a special day here in the week. How would you explain this to our viewers, you know, what Wednesday means? We spoke earlier in a couple of videos before. Oh, did we? Yeah. Now let's start the foam. Oh, yeah, we did, bulk evening. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, 90 milliliters of uh, citrus washing gloss, 900 milliliters of lukewarm water, minimum 120 bar of high pressure washer. 
Here we go. So we're gonna fill our bucket half with uh, warm water. You like short water more, Yoyo, or long water? Long. Long, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Also feels better. I think long water will make you happy. A happy camper. <laughs> so here we go. The two bucket washing method. So what I'm always gonna use again here, I'm gonna use five capfuls of good mixed. Let me give the good example, by the way. I'm gonna give it five to six capfuls of soap. Oh, it's hot. Ha <laughs> ha. It's getting hot in here. Oh, then I'm gonna get my snubby gun here and put my nozzle in, my green MTM nozzle. Put my feet on the bucket because I don't want it to uh, go away. Maybe you can uh, feel with your hand if it's warm enough for Yori. So we just mixed our side of washing gloss uh, washing emulsion perfectly in our washing bucket. This one and our rinsing bucket only with water. The snow foam has uh, Worked. Let's see if we can catch some dirt here. Yes, we can. We're gonna rinse down the car and then we'll start washing. And before I forget, if you take your buckets and your shampoo to your uh, wash box uh, location, you can also dilute it and mix it like there as well. Get water from the tap and off you go. Because this part is final wrapped, I don't come really close with the nozzle. Always stay 20, 30 centimeters off of the surface. some uh, hand washing with my stranger wash mitt taking off of taking on those suds of citrus washing gloss start washing it's a little bit weird with these fingers to be honest <laughs> if you don't use this one so much but I get the point, you can snug fit your fingers which are then covered with microfibers easily in the grill ornaments in hard to reach areas which you normally with your with your normal wash mitt you cannot reach. I have to say well it does work but it uh, needs some getting used to at least for me. Let's see if we can uh, catch some uh, dirt, not really so much. Rinse it out here, here it is. Over the washboard, like this. 
to release the dust and particles. Take on some new sets. There we go. There we go. Try to rinse a lot. Check the fibers. If you see some dirt, then rinse again. Make sure you always will be washing. At least for now, I really get the point, Jordi. The stranger mitt is ideal for this. So everyone with the light on the roof. Yeah, it's perfect for police cars. So Eddie, uh, are you looking forward to your date Saturday night? Yeah. Should uh, I pick her up with this car or you pick uh, behind? Well, actually I'm doing you a favor now. Yeah. So I'm, you can pick her up with a clean car, but you have to do the inside yourself. The inside of the car, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. What's the plan? What are you guys uh, up to? Uh, go for a drink. Yeah, that's a good idea, with a go, with a go for a drink with a police car go on your first day. Up. Well, to be honest, the stranger wash mitt for this tank filler cap, it's like perfect. Normally you have an extra brush for that, but this goes really, really well. You can just, with your index finger, come everywhere. Oh, here, catch some dirt. Ooh. Ew. So let's uh, go over the washboard and uh, scrub it here. Voila! And it's gone. I hope we can really catch on camera. So this was the rinsing bucket. We can uh, see this because of the grid guard and the washboard. And I hope to uh, get off the, the foam on the, the top layer. So we can have a good view on the water. So this is being uh, washed off of your Yoris car. I hope you can really uh, still a little bit foamy on top. So this is uh, the dirt of your car. Look. Yeah, this is only the rinsed off dirt. So let's see what stays on the bottom. You can see here inside. Okay, cool. So this is the rinsing bucket and we can see the dirt as in there. And that stays then under the grid guard. And here is the dirt trap of our washing bucket. Let's get off the foam off the top. And it's a little bit yellow, but it's also because of the citrus washing gloss. But I don't see any dust or sand or whatever contamination here. It's completely clean. So this is the advantage the benefit of using the dirt trap in your shampoo washing bucket and having the grid guard in your rinsing bucket. So this was our uh, buckets, water filters and accessories video. So I hope you liked the video. Also the theoretical part uh, where I try to explain 
how to use your two bucket system or your third bucket for your wheels, how to use the water filters and also the difference between the grid guard, the washboard and the dirt trap on the other hand. The lids and the seal covers on top so that you can take your warm water with you in the back of your car, go to your own local wash box where you, like to, uh, where you love to wash there. Then also dilute the shampoo correctly so you have a, a good proposition of uh, lukewarm water and shampoo for that good washing effect in this case with citrus washing gloss and use the second bucket as well and also show to you that what the added value is of working with this two bucket system so that you separate the dirt that stays on the bottom and with the dirt trap you keep your washing water really really squeaky clean which is super important for safe and proper washing so i've rinsed down the car it's time for me to dry hope you like this video if you do so please give it a thumbs up if you got some questions on the whole washing process or deep questions on buckets which water filter is uh, good for you write it here below or email us info at chemicalguys.eu or chat with us or whatsapp with us with the customer service over the Camel Guys EU website thanks again for watching this video if you didn't do it already please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upload that Jordi and me do here on the Wheelie Detailers YouTube channel see you guys in the next episode bye bye You can actually also use this as a, as a sun visor. I use it during uh, summertime always, so it's perfect.